So years ago, I was working with his mother and son at the same company. There was a little bit of nepotism going on at this company. If you don't know what nepotism is, look it up. It means family members working at the same place or whatever. A lot of companies are like that. So the son was about 5'7", five, 5'8", five, built similar to me, compact, uh, some biceps, little muscle, broader shoulders. Uh, the mother was about 5'1". Mother comes up to me in the coffee room. She's like, you work out, right? I'm like, yeah, yeah, I've worked out for quite a few years. She's like, so does my son, Joey. Lifting weights stunted its growth. She looks at me like, you know, it shouldn't work out at a certain age. It'll stunt your growth. This kid was about 10 years younger than me. He was in high school at the time, late high school. I was in my 20s. And I was like, yeah, maybe the fact that you're five foot one and your husband who's coming here is tops five seven, five eight. Maybe your genetics stunted his growth. I didn't say that, but that's the truth. Genetics dictate about how tall you're gonna be. But I hear this all the time. I hear these mothers that are like 4'10", 4'11", worried that their kids are gonna be short. Meanwhile, they went out and married Danny DeVito. And if they were really worried about this, they would have found some Shaquille O'Neal deal uh, kind of guy to even out their height thing. But people come in all shapes and sizes, whatever. Uh, you know, there's a there's a preference towards taller. You know, people think that taller, uh, you get a little more ahead in the game if you're taller. But I know tons of guys well shorter than me, 5'3", five, 5'4", five, that are not lacking in confidence, that are strong, uh, that, you know, they go out and they get the women they want. They just are who they are. It's all about confidence, all that stuff. Whole other topic. Other, other people do that kind of stuff better than me. But getting back to it, I have a reason why this myth is uh, perpetuated. And using the logic that people use to bring about this myth that uh, working out stunts your growth, the same logic would say that playing basketball makes you excessively tall. Truth is, when I was like 5'5", five, five, 140 pounds in high school, I'd go down into my basement and I had these friends that were like 5'9", 5'10", 5 5'11", 5 but they weighed about 140, 150. I could just bench press like a bunch more reps than them or a bunch more weight than them. And these were strong kids. We'd wrestle around and sometimes these kids would beat me. I don't know why, you know, I was like benching more than them. But, you know, sometimes I beat them. But I felt really good about myself because, you know, I was a little shorter. But, man, I could lift weights better. And the thing was, my, my levers were short. Uh, not to make that in as, as an excuse, but having short levers helps you with strength training. Uh, Olympic weightlifters, guys my height, 5'8", a lot of them are in a 94 kilo class. Uh, because uh, at my weight, 5'8", 165 pounds, you'd be kind of skinny. So you'd want to... You want to be, uh, you know, like put on more muscle. So if you're short and thick with a lot of muscle, and you got a kid like that, short legs, and he's real strong, he's kind of short, uh, try him out on weightlifting. Uh, gymnastics is another sport where definitely short levers help. Uh, similar to uh, weightlifting and you're moving your body, uh, short levers make it easier to move your body in space. So getting back to just regular people strength training, lots of guys, uh, trying to find that uh, thing in high school that makes them tick. Of course, you know, you get to shorter guys and they had the same experience. And I bet you in every high school there were a bunch of guys like me and I knew a bunch of guys. Well, guys a little bit shorter than average but could lift more weights uh, and they put on muscle. And because they they had the shorter levelers and moved a little weight, more weight, they took to it. Just kind of kind of the same way like a six foot two, six foot three kid with a decent vertical jump, he might go out and dunk a basketball and then he just keeps doing it because he feels real good about it. Like a five foot five guy that can bench 225 pounds, you know, junior year of high school. You see that kid in the PE class when they're doing the weights, you know, he's just, he's hanging out at the bench press, uh, you know, trying to get everybody's attention. Same way the six foot two guy dunking the ball is. So sometimes like the parents of these kids, you know, they blame, you know, what they should be blaming is their genetics, but they say, oh, you know, my kid took up weight training. And I think it stunted his growth. Oh, your kid did good at weight training. He was shorter, and you're assuming it stunted his growth. So it's just an old myth. Unfortunately, I still hear it. People still 
uh, use these old Miz uh, from days of yesteryear. And they're old. Forget about them. Let logic prevail. Strength training does not stunt your growth. Catch you later.